Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage. So I want you to put your hands together, show your love for my friend, Mr. Steve Halle. Here's, here's the other thing. Here's the thing about uh, with rap that bothers me. Have you noticed, rappers are getting lazy, okay? Because here's the thing, rappers, I don't know, half the songs out, they don't start rapping. They do this like warming up thing now. Here's what happens, the beat gets going and they don't start rapping. Here's what they do, the beat's going, it's going good and this is what they do. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's 2012, yo, they tell you what year it is. Start rapping, your job is to rap, rap. No one else gets to warm up at their job. You can't walk into your job, walk into your office, up to your desk Monday morning and be like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's 803 up in this bitch. You can't. You don't get to do that. Everyone, we're not taking a vacation day since 1997. I'd like to present a certificate of appreciation to Dan Williams. Certificate? What are you? Certificate? Okay, okay Dan. Certificate! Certificate. They're your vacation days. Book them now at visitlasvegas.com. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you get a look at what I just did to you? Do you see that? No. I took my bishop and I <laughs> your queen. I her. The game is over. I am the king. It is over. The game is over. You want to restart? It's called Hello Dolly. Are you kidding me? Where did you come up with this? Don't look at me. You don't like it? It's not funny. You don't make jokes about the Dalai Lama. It's un-American. Maybe the viewers at home will get it. Yeah, I don't see how this is a problem. Uh, here's a problem. Uh, nobody laughs at your stupid joke. So we turn up the laugh track and post. The guy at the deli thought it was hilarious. Maybe you should do the show from there. Next. Hey, not so much off the top. I have a girlfriend now, and I, lo I love my girlfriend. I do. I really, I love her. And Oh, I know. I do. I love my girlfriend. And I, here's the thing. I told her the other day, I was like, honey, I love you so much. You know what? I think I'm going to get your name tattooed right here on my chest. She's like, well, what are you going to do if I break up with you? I like, well, then right under it, I'll put, it's a whore. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much. That's it for me. Thank you so much.